What's up guys, it's 33 Shredder. In this video we got a tutorial for you guys. Took me quite a while to put it all together guys. And I hope you guys enjoy it. But um, first, I want to give a quick shout out to a couple of people. Go check out Jailbreak Me Mania. He's kind of starting off. He's got about maybe 30 subscribers or something like that. And go check out my friend Ted's Tech Talk. And um, that's pretty much it. Go subscribe to them and enjoy this video. What's up guys, it's 33 Shader. I'm just going to give you a quick tutorial on how to make a duct tape case for your iPhone or iPod Touch. So first step, you're going to take a ruler or your iPod. I'm using a fake one because I'm recording this with my iPod Touch. Okay, and we're going to make one strip of duct tape that is just a little bit longer than that and cut it with your X-Acto knife. You're going to need a cutting board so you don't ruin any table or whatnot that you're using. So you're going to take another piece of duct tape and you're going to make it just enough, maybe just a little bit more, um, longer than you'll need it. So you're just going to go ahead and go maybe like a little bit more, like an inch more. Okay, lay that down. So it should be just a, little, a little bit thicker. And we're just going to go ahead and cut that back here too. Alright, so we're going to set the duct tape off for a side. Okay, and this is when you're going to take your ruler and you're going to just cut off a little bit to straighten that out. Okay, and then you're just going to take this excess stuff and pull it off of here. Okay, and it's just going to do the same thing over here. So once you have that done, you're going to want to flip it over and make sure that it's pretty good size. Again, just lay it on top there. And so what you're going to do is you're going to make another one of these and you're going to take them and you're going to lay them on top of each other, sticky side to sticky side, so that you have a piece of duct tape fabric. Alright, so here I have my two fabrics. You'll have to trim them up a little bit so you get that excess stuff off. And you're going to go ahead and just lay these on top, sticky side to sticky side. And I'll come back when I finish that. You should end up with this double-sided duct tape fabric. And you're just going to go ahead and do a little bit more trimming if you have to. And then um, you're going to end up having three of these things, okay? So um, I'll come back to you when I have that done. Alright guys, so once you have that done, you're going to go ahead and get into the easiest part which doesn't take up as much time. So you should be able to lay the iPod on mo at least two of them. Okay. And then you're going to take two. Okay. And you're going to be able to take your iPod. Okay. Lay one on top of it just like so. You're going to take the other one. And you should be able to see like a little crease. See there that little crease from the overlaid duct tape. And you're going to go ahead and kind of just fold that up. It should be an easy little crease. Nothing nothing too drastic that you should have to do. Okay? And then you're going to take this piece of duct tape and you're just gonna go ahead and tape that down on this side. Alright, so when you are doing this guys, you should cut the duct tape the same size as the strips, okay? And you're gonna um wanna keep some excess of it. So what you're gonna do is go ahead and flatten this out right here. And you're going to take your ruler. Now this doesn't have to be a perfect cut down the middle, but go ahead and just cut it straight down the middle with your knife. Scissors is not really recommended guys, it's a lot harder with scissors and can be very messy. Alright, so once you have that, I'm going to put this one off to the side up here. I'm going to take the two pieces you just had about a second ago, and you're going to go ahead and tape those down. Again, make the crease if it kind of just went away like mine did. And you're going to lay these on top, just like so. And go ahead and tape it down the middle right here. Just like that. Okay? And if you have this little excess stuff, you can just go ahead and fold that up if you need to, or just cut it off. And then you're also going to take this piece right here, and you're going to tape it down right here, on the opposite side. So now you have a big piece of fabric. Go ahead and trim those right there and over here. Alright, so now we have this big old fat piece of duct tape fabric. And you should still have this piece this is just off to the side up here. Okay, and make sure that your iPod does still fit on here. Now that you have this together, you can go ahead and take this iPod 
and go ahead and leave a little bit up at the top here like this see how I have just a little bit up there and go ahead and take this and fold it back over now see how mine does not fully cover the iPod this is okay just go ahead and make that a crease I'll explain to you why in a second okay so you should have this folded right here just go ahead and put a heavy book or a, the roll of duct tape on it for now and put that off to the side and you're gonna bring this over here okay and this is going to be the top flap okay so what you're gonna do is you're going to take the same thing that you did for the other one and see the little line and you're gonna go ahead and crease that down just fold it up or however down up whatever okay and it's gonna go so you should have that little flap right there alright so we're just gonna go ahead and put that back off to the side set the duct tape or something heavy onto that for now just to keep it down okay and you're gonna take this back and you're going to bring the duct tape back over here and get a little piece about maybe just a couple inches or so like that and it's going to go ahead and cut this little piece off right here okay alright so you should have this little square right here it does not have to be cut any perfect way or anything guys but what you're going to do is you're going to take it and just cut it down right the middle I would recommend having it so the you have a wide part that you're cutting down the middle not the thinner part so you have these two fat pieces okay and they don't have to be exactly even or anything what you're gonna do with these is you're gonna come back over here and this should still be creased good if not go ahead and just kinda fold it again and you're just gonna go ahead and tape this right here and fold it over to the back just like so so that you have something like this okay so you're just gonna do the same thing to the other side and tape it right here and then just go ahead and fold it back now if you need to you see I kinda leave it just a little bit open um, don't you don't need necessarily need it to be perfect or anything and if you get that little tape in there a good way to fix that just go ahead and put some tape right in the middle of it so that you don't have that but I'm not gonna do that for now but you guys should do that and then you're just gonna go ahead and bring this piece that's up here being creased down and come over here and you're going to end up taping this just like you did the other piece right here so that it folds down just like that alright so once you have a piece that's just about the same size it doesn't have to be exactly um, you're going to go ahead and do the same thing you did to the last piece that you used for connecting these and go ahead and cut it right here down the middle again it does not have to be perfectly even just right down the middle long ways so you're going to go ahead and separate them, put one off to the side for now, and you're going to go ahead and take this flap, that's going to be the flap down, and this piece, and you're going to just go ahead and apply this right here, about half and half, okay, and just going to go ahead and tape that down, and then tape it like this, go ahead and line the crease up with the top of that, and go ahead and push down. I'm going to finish taping it off back here, give it a nice little push. Alright, so once you're done creasing that down and making sure it's all taped, you, sh you should have this look like a little flap stuff, and this excess stuff right here. What you're going to do is you're going to take that other half of that long piece you just cut, and go ahead and tape this part right here. About half and half. Doesn't have to be perfect as long as they are taped down. So now you have one entire whole piece, and your iPod or iPhone should fit in there just like so and you see it looks like it wouldn't fit but it just flaps down like that then you can put some velcro double sided velcro which I will end up doing doing on this one and then if you guys have trouble with I know how mine I just kinda tape them down really quickly but if it doesn't fit exactly and close up the way you want it to you can always just take this part off right here and just keep adjusting it I would recommend putting the iPod in there and then taking this part and then tape it down the way you want with the tightness and the um okay and so you should get it just the way you want it to and um, that's pretty much been a quick tutorial here for you guys if you guys want to go ahead and put a belt loop back here I would recommend doing that just go ahead and take a um, piece of tape double side it put it in a loop type way like you would like this and then you're just going to go ahead and take it like that and just put a piece of tape right in the middle there that's pretty much it, and see you in my next video. Hope this helped you out. Rate, comment, and subscribe.
Peace.